subscribe our channel if you like our video please share it with your friends you can also click the bell icon to get the notifications Researchers have, inspired by the efficient foraging behavior of a single-celled amoeba, developed an analog computer for finding a reliable and swift solution to the traveling salesman problem, a representative combinatorial optimization problem. 2. Research on motivation has suggested that a strong sense of autonomy is the key to developing the healthy self-motivation that allows children and teens to pursue their goals with passion and to enjoy their achievements. But what we see in many of the kids we test or tutor is motivational patterns that are at the extremes of 1. an obsessive drive to succeed and 2. seeing little point in working hard. Current policy responses do not address the fundamental question of why so many mass shootings take place in schools. To answer this question, we need to get to the heart of how students experience school and the meaning that schools have in American life. While some of these measures seem sensible, overall there is little empirical evidence that such security measures decrease the likelihood of school shootings.
Tourism is a challenging sector on which divides statistics since businesses serving tourists also service local people. Therefore, it is not straightforward to estimate how much business sectors revenues and how many jobs are due to tourist expenditures. The brain is divided into its hemispheres by a prominent groove. At the base of this lies nerve fibers which enable these two halves of the brain to communicate with each other. But the left hemisphere usually controls movement and sensation in the right side of the body, while the right hemisphere similarly controls the left side of the body. Few things in the world produced such amazement as one's first of glimpse of the Grand Canyon. It took around more than two billion years to create this vast wonder, in some places. 17 miles wide, largely through the relentless force of Colorado River, which runs 277 miles along its length, a mile beneath its towering rims. A new study in mice finds that a high-fat diet allows cancer cells to outcompete immune cells for fuel, impairing immune function and accelerating tumor growth. Cancer cells do so by rewiring their metabolisms to increase fat consumption. Blocking this rewiring enhances anti-tumor immunity. The findings suggest new strategies to target cancer metabolism and improve immunotherapies.
Astronomers think planets can exist in orbits far from their star, and propose a two-step process, interactions with the star or inner planets kick it out of the inner system, and then a passing star stabilizes the orbit to keep it bound. Such a scenario could explain the hypothesized Planet 9, in our solar system. Astronomers have now confirmed that one binary star system, HD 106906, has a planet in a bound, highly eccentric orbit. Almost 200 years after French physicist Jean Peltier discovered that electric current flowing through the junction of two different metals could be used to produce a heating or cooling effect, researchers say it is time to step up efforts to find new materials for the thermoelectric cooling market. Researchers used the Fronterra supercomputer to model for the first time a black hole merger of two black holes with very different sizes, 128 to 1. The research required seven months of constant computation. The results predict the gravitational waves such a merger would produce, as well as characteristics of the resulting merged black hole. Neural networks are some of the most important tools in AI. So far, they run on traditional processes in the form of adaptive software, but experts are working on an alternative concept, the neuromorphic computer. In this case, neurons are not simulated by software but reconstructed in hardware components. A team of researchers has now demonstrated a new approach to such hardware, targeted magnetic waves that are generated and divided in micrometer-sized wafers.
a stretchable system that can harvest energy from human breathing and motion for use in wearable health monitoring devices may be possible, according to an international team of researchers. The evidence for the harmful effects of alcohol on brain health is compelling, but now experts have pinpointed three key time periods in life when the effects of alcohol are likely to be at their greatest. Researchers have found a novel form of the Alzheimer's protein tau in the fluid surrounding the brain and spinal cord. This form of tau, known as MTBR tau, indicates what stage of Alzheimer's a person is in and tracks with tangles of tau protein in the brain. Injury or disease that afflicts a relatively small number of brain cells causes a chain reaction that stops activity across a vast network of neural circuits, according to new research. The study may help to explain why people can suffer from temporary but severe loss of cognitive function in cases of traumatic brain injury or disease.
New research identifies a process that might have been key in producing the first organic molecules on Earth about 4 billion years ago, before the origin of life. The process, which is similar to what might have occurred in some ancient underwater hydrothermal vents, may also have relevance to the search for life elsewhere in the universe. The power of the sun, wind and sea may soon combine to produce clean burning hydrogen fuel, according to researchers. A team integrated water purification technology into a new proof-of-concept design for a seawater electrolyzer, which uses an electric current to split apart the hydrogen and oxygen in water molecules. Using an X-ray laser, a research team has investigated how water heats up under extreme conditions. In the process, the scientists were able to observe water that remained liquid even at temperatures of more than 170 degrees Celsius. The investigation revealed an anomalous dynamic behavior of water, which is of fundamental importance for the analysis of sensitive samples using X-ray lasers. European wildcats, thought to be extinct 50 or so years ago in the Jura Mountains, have since recolonized part of their former territory. This resurgence in an area occupied by domestic cats has gone hand in hand with genetic crosses between the two species. A team of biologists modeled the interactions between the two species to predict that hybridization will entail the irreversible genetic replacement of wild cats.
The slight decline in drug overdose deaths in 2018 coincides with Chinese regulations on the powerful opioid carfentanil, rather than the result of domestic U.S. efforts to curb the epidemic, a new analysis reveals what many, including President Donald Trump, perceived as a decline in overdose deaths in 2018, appears to be a return to the historic exponential curve. Sleep behavior is also known as sleep disorder. People with sleep disorder often talk or walk in their sleep. They are not aware of what they are talking about or where they are going. There isn't any serious effects on body in general, but it may be connected to the mental health. People with childhood traumas, unspeakable problem or depression are the ones with different sleep behavior. The audio, which includes more than 1,000 separate data files, was captured in the early 1970s by the late Hetty van der Wright. She recorded the various screams, barks, and how calls made by a group of chimps, including 17 youngsters, living in the Gombe National Park in Tanzania. Conservation scientists have long tried to map how much of the planet remains undergraded by human activity. Previous estimates using satellite imagery or raw demographic data found anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of the globe was free from obvious human incursions, such as roads, light pollution or the gaping scars of deforestation. But an intact forest canopy can hide an emptied out ecosystem below.
These decisions are highly nuanced. Of course we use a lot of data to inform our decisions but we also rely very heavily on iteration, research, testing, intuition and human empathy. Now, so me times the designers who work on these products are called data-driven, which is a term that totally drives us bonkers. The fact is, it would be irresponsible of us not to rigorously test our designs when so many people are counting on us to get it right. Since its inception, the UN system has been working to ensure adequate food for all through sustainable agriculture. The majority of the world's poorest people live in rural area developing countries. They depend on agriculture and related activities for their livelihoods. This makes them particularly vulnerable to man-made and natural influences that reduce agricultural production. Food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, what kind of computers to buy. Conservation scientists have long tried to map how much of the planet remains undergraded by human activity. Previous estimates using satellite imagery or raw demographic data found anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of the globe was free from obvious human incursions, such as roads, light pollution or the gaping scars of deforestation. But an intact forest canopy can hide an emptied out ecosystem below.
How quickly this occurs depends on the dynamics of fertility, mortality and overseas migration. While a moderate pace of demographic change allows for gradual adjustment of the economy and policies to the changing population demographics, rapid changes are more difficult to manage. As a result, governments and society as a whole may need to take actions to address these issues. Australia has one of the world's most important mining industries. It is a major exporter of coal, iron ore, gold, bauxite, and copper, and is self-sufficient in all minerals bar petroleum. Since the first discoveries of coal in 1798, mineral production has risen every year. In the decade to 1992, it doubled. The latest scientific evidence on the nature and strength of the links between diet and chronic diseases is examined and discussed in detail in the following sections of this report. This section gives an overall view of the current situation and trends in chronic diseases at the global level. When countries assess their annual carbon emissions, they count up their cars and power stations, but bushfires are not included, presumably because they are deemed to events beyond human control. In Australia, Victoria alone sees several hundred thousand hectares burn each year. In both 2004 and more recently, the figure has been over a million hectares.
It is difficult to tell whether the speaker approves of Hemingway's lifestyle or not. He was famously macho and spent a lot of time hunting wild animals, going to wars and getting into fights. All these things got into his books, and the speaker thinks that this is not necessarily a good thing as it means that too many people prefer to read about his life than read his books. If bonus or incentive pay schemes work so well for senior executives and bankers, why does everyone not get them? After all, many jobs involve making important decisions or taking risks. Is there anything about corporate decisions and financial risks that makes these categories of work special in terms of how they need to be incentivized and rewarded? The diversity of human language may be compared to the diversity of the natural world. Just as the demise of plant species reduces genetic diversity, and deprives humanity or potential medical and biological resources, so extinction of language takes with it a wealth of culture, art and knowledge. In classes, your teachers will talk about topics that you are studying. The information that they provide will be important to know when you take tests. You must be able to take good written notes from what your teacher says.
the beginning of the 21st century will be remembered not for military conflicts of political events but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. Th explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before. Hundreds of millions of people buy fast food every day without giving it much thought, unaware of the subtle and not-so-subtle ramifications of their purchases. They just grasp a hamburger and unwrap it and toss the wrap into the bin. The whole experience is transitory and soon forgotten. Along with customary classes on subjects such as finance, accounting, and marketing, today's MBA students are enrolling on courses for environmental policy and stewardship. Indeed, more than half of business schools require a course in environmental sustainability or corporate social responsibility, according to a survey of 91 U.S. business schools published in October 2005. To work effectively with the heterogeneous student populations found in our schools, educators have the responsibility of acknowledging the cultural backgrounds of their students and the cultural setting in which the school is located in order to develop effective instructional strategies.
The emergence of information technology has created new products, processes and distribution systems. New products include the computer, the internet and digital TV. New processes include internet banking, automated inventory control and automated telemachines, and new distribution systems include cable and satellite TV. The training of an actor is an intensive process which requires curiosity, courage and commitment. You will learn how to prepare for rehearsal, how to rehearse and how to use independent and proactive processes that inform you to do the best work possible for both stage and screen. The core of the problem was the immense disparity between the country's productive capacity and the ability of people to consume. Great innovations in productive techniques during and after the war raised the output of industry beyond the purchasing capacity of U.S. farmers and wage earners. Although it hails from a remote region of the Western Himalayas, this plant now looks entirely at home on the banks of English rivers, and colonized river banks and damp woodlands. In the Himalayas the plant is held in check by various pests but take these away and it grows and reproduces unhindered. Now it is spreading across Europe, New Zealand, Canada and the US.
The terms summary and abstract are often used interchangeably, resulting in some confusion. This problem arises because there are two distinct types of abstracts, descriptive and informative. The informative abstract is another name for a summary, the descriptive is not. The descriptive abstract is usually only two or three sentences in length, hence it is not a summary or very informative. Deaf children learning a sign language could certainly pursue the development of listening and spoken language skills if desired, and doing so would carry much less risk knowing the child would have mastery in at least one language. If a child does not succeed in mastering either a spoken language or a sign language, we must then ask how much benefit the child derived from interventions in each language relative to the amount of time and resources dedicated to those interventions. Researchers have found a way to convert the aromatic substance phanolin into a redox-active electrolyte material for liquid batteries. The technology is an important step towards ecologically sustainable energy storage. University of Adelaide researchers have uncovered fundamental new information about the malting characteristics of barley grains. They say their finding could pave the way to more stable brewing processes or new malts for craft brewers. Published in the Nature publication Scientific Reports, the production for brewing and a specific tissue layer within the barley grain.
the provision of accurate and authoritative statistical information strengthens our society. It provides a basis for decisions to be made on public policy, such as determining electoral boundaries and where to locate schools and hospitals. It also allows businesses to know their market, grow their business, and improve their marketing strategies by targeting their activities appropriately. It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that Chasing the Flame makes its greatest mark. With piercing insight and relentless logic, it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world. The most important issue is concerned with the problem of funding. Social services receive different donations or grants from the government. However, these sums are not sufficient for the solution of all problems. The second most important issue consists in the huge spending. The money social services achieve is not enough for normal functioning. The third problem, affecting human services, is the lack of skilled and experienced employees.